<laughs> Let's see. Prime 5 is Yeti. Yeti has got a little interesting fact about it. Same as Chaos 9. If you're ever hurting to break into a tier and you go to the Yeti incursion, there's one very specific thing it has. And that is it's got no chaos in or it's got none of the new enemies. It's got its own set lane schedules. So the difficulty of those enemies, of course, is going to scale up. I voted on that one Huntress uh, snack. There's a Huntress that looks really good. Uh, I voted on. Yeah, you overcap rate. That way the Frost Orcs are uh, dealt with, which is just a shard swap. You know, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? So, like, what we're going to do here is we're going to get rid of that and that. We'll go with... Uh, let's yoink that. Actually, let's not yoink it from there. Let's yoink it from there. And then we're going to go destruction, mass destruction... And we're going to overcap the rate on it. So just any defense rate shard. And then... I mean, I guess that's fine. All right. So... Look at the lane schedules. It's all the special enemies uh, from this map. So Frost... This was the introduction of Frost en enemies. So you got frost goblins, uh, we got frost orcs. That's it. So it makes um, it makes for a quite trivialized experience, to be honest. And then of course we got mad flyers, which flyers are usually what you got to watch for uh, on this one. Let's just throw one of those up in front. We'll go with this, and then this is a flyer lane, so since it's a flyer lane, I'm going to give a little bit of flyer assist there with some flame arrows. We're going to do the same thing down here. Flyer lane as well. And then the rest of the lanes are non-flyer lanes. So just do what you want. Now we're going to have to keep an eye out for leaks, of course. But for, I think for the most part, this is just going to evaporate. Let's just see what kind of change we have left over. Maybe throw some uh, rail guns around just for fun. No flyers here, no flyers over here either. Oh, what happened? You been, uh... Oh, the bots are letting stuff through? I completely missed it. Completely missed it. All right, and then we got 180 left to do kind of whatever we want with. So, I mean, I guess we could yoink this mass destruction back and throw it in here. Then go with, like, uh... That... Oop. No, now we're out. Now we're out. So I over, was overspending there. So instead, let's go with uh, just a Sky Guard. And we'll go with um, Lightning Strikes are as well. If it had more spicy content than you'd consider. Very fair, very fair. 
So, I mean, I think we're just gonna wreck it, but let's let's see how it goes. I might be reading into things too far, but I feel like it should just, everything should just die. Like, AFK and Chill die. Because anything that leaks through, the Fisher is just gonna, the Fisher dot is just gonna kill it. Get the scenic view. This map, they did an incredible job with the view. Best view in all of DD2, in my opinion. Crazy, crazy good job. So yeah, anyway, if you're struggling at all getting into a Chaos tier, you can play this new map, or this map, and you don't have to worry about any of the Chaos enemies. Because uh, all there is is Frosties. That's it. Of course, you're going to get an ass load of Yetis. But remember, too, frost enemies take double damage to fire. So load it up with fire. And let the frosty, let the the ember mounts, the fisher ember mounts do their work, you know? This one has an incredible vibe to it. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, watch the little wither beasts. Just the the ember mount dot just kills everything off because it's got such a long way to run. Actually, here's a little gobu. Looks like it didn't get it. All right, yeah, it got it. Flyers get uppity. It's the only thing real real struggle you have on this map is flyers definitely get uppity. We got a yeti. The yeti, I think, will just die. Not risk it though. Yeah, this is definitely a Netflix and chillable map. Everything else just burns up. I, I'm actually pretty... I feel comfortable saying even if you just brought your Chaos 9 Fishers in here, overcap the rain on them without even upgrading them, and I think they would beat this map. I mean, obviously, you'd have more leaks, so you'd have more stuff to pluck off, but as far as getting a win, there's just no doubt in my mind you would get a win. You know? is it's like an awesome break-in map. With incredibly scenic views. So that's a win-win, right? I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with Sky Guards. If I'm gonna continue to use it, I should put a little effort into it. That's a Chaos 8 Sky Guard. So it's not not exactly impressive. And it's a Chaos 8 Sky Guard that's kind of meme modded for map wide coverage. Like I got a defense range mod on it, plus uh, vicious strikes, you know? So it covers the world. Which works out nice for that all-in-one shard, which is even more range. And then you get the uh, power out of it, too. Little Frosty Bombs hit hard, though. Just hit X to try to heal. <laughs> Dragolich is like, why you want me to shoot over there?
then I think this will clear another zone. So this will be another 10 mil. The gold is really the value, I think, with going through and doing the primes. Yeah, I mean, the it, the update gave diversity to the game that it hasn't had in, what, seven years. So, I mean, this update, this update is very, very nice for sure. I would go for shoot for anti melee or anti chaos. Anti orc is only going to affect the orcs, which is, you know, that does cover the lady orcs, the new super zerkers, and the orc chieftains. It does cover all that. But once again, you're at the mercy of use what you got in your bag, you know. Use anti orc until you find something better. When you find something better, you can always use a goblin item insurance to get the anti-orc off there and keep it for later, you know? Come on out, Mr. Yeti. I know you're in there. He don't want to come out. I mean, I don't blame him. There he is. Oh, cheater. Got me around the corner. Yeti hacks. <laughs> Every direction, really, this map is just impressive. And it's the best, it's the best death fall in the game. There's no better death fall than jumping off that cliff, right? I mean, that's just incredible. Yeah, that is uh, just an absolutely joyous break-in map right there. Anyone that's ever struggling. Now, you don't get as much loot because it's an incursion, but you're going to get loot. So, if you're struggling on any chaos tier coming to this map, it is GG's. And you see Chaos 10 Primes complete 10 million gold. Ba -ba Bam! Thanks for the cash!